Now that we've reviewed polar coordinates, let's look at cylindrical coordinates. Cylindrical coordinates. These are coordinates used for graphing three-dimensional objects, or points in R3. Notice that the points are going to be very similar to polar coordinates. We're just going to add a z component that's exactly equal to the height. So in this case, the r and the theta are exactly what they were before. The r measures the distance from the projection of the point into the xy plane from the origin. And the angle theta here measures the angle traced out with the x so for example, if I'm looking at the point 3 pi over 4, 1, I can think of 3 and pi over 4 as being my coordinates down in the xy plane that are polar coordinates. So just like before, I'm going to make an angle of pi over 4 with the x-axis. So this is representing pi over 4, which is a 45 degree angle with the x-axis. And I'm going out a distance of 3 down here in the xy plane. Once I've placed this point in polar coordinates on the xy plane, now I'm going to look at the height coordinates in z, and I know I go up a unit of 1 in height. 3, 1. So this is the point 3, pi over 4, 1 in polar coordinates. And I could use the information that we found in the previous video to be able to convert this into rectangular coordinates. The method is going to be the same. The first step is to look at this in the xy plane, and that's something that you might want to do, is to trace the top view, because the top view is going to be exactly the xy plane, and it's going to be exactly polar coordinates as before, tracing out the angle pi over 4 and a distance of 3. And in this case, in the xy plane, we found that the x coordinate is going to be 3 times the cosine of pi over 4, which is exactly equal to 3 times the square root of 2 over 2. 3 times the square root of 2 over 2. And the y coordinate is also 3 times the square root of 2 over 2, because it's a right triangle. And then the z coordinate would just be 1. So this is in polar coordinates, and in rectangular coordinates I would get 3 times the square root of 2 over 2, 3 times the square root of 2 over 2, and then a z value of 1, using triangle geometry. So let's do an example. Why are these called cylindrical coordinates? Why might they be useful? Suppose I set my r equal to 3, my theta is allowed to vary from 0 to pi over 2, and the z values are going from negative 1 to 1. Let's graph what this looks like. First, I'm going to take a look at a top view. As a top view, setting my radius constantly equal to 3 and allowing theta to span all the way from 0 to pi over 2 traces out a circle of radius 3. This can be seen because the angle that's made with the x-axis is changing continually all the way from the angle of 0 back to 2 pi again. And then looking in our 3 space, we know that the base of this object is this circle in the xy plane of radius 3. And the z values are allowed to vary from negative 1 to 1, means that I'm going to trace out a cylinder. Whoops, that didn't quite connect, did it? A cylinder, where the heights of the cylinder go from z equals negative 1 to z equals 1. And this is where the name cylindrical coordinates come from, but drawing cylinders like this are really easy using cylindrical coordinates. The final coordinate system that I want to talk about is the most challenging. Oh, nope, I'm going to do one more example, aren't I? Let's do one more. R equals 2z in cylindrical coordinates. So let's just go straight to our three-dimensional plot. 
So r equals 2z implicit in here, I'm going to let my angle theta go from 0 to 2 pi, meaning that I'm spinning around in a full circle in the xy plane. And as I trace this out, I see that as my radius increases, my heights or z values are going to increase twice as rapidly. So if I have a radius of 1, my z value is going to be up at 2. And with a radius of 2, my z values are going to be up at 4. Notice as I'm measuring out my radius, r equals 1 and r equals 2, I'm measuring it down here in the xy plane, because it's not the distance here, it's the distance down in the xy plane, like polar coordinates. Essentially, this r equals 2z is saying that as the radius of this figure increases, the heights are increasing twice as fast, and I'm spinning in a full circle for each radius value. So an example point would be the point r equals 1. Here, my theta equals pi over 2, because I'm letting my x, the angle that's being made with the x-axis is flat here in the zy plane. And finally, my height value in this case is going to be twice the radius, which is 2. That's the point right here. And this would continue on infinitely because I didn't give a bound on this function. Functions of this form are going to look like uh, cones. These are cones.